Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to, I used to go to a couple youth clubs, and obviously there was somewhere for us to go and that. Get me, and now we just there's nothing to do now. Like we're just out here, we're just getting up to no good. Like people are, are intimidated by us. Like there's nothing to do. If all my friends was here, you would see the type of behaviour I'm talking about. In the streets are in London. It's rough. You know, you've got a lot of gangs, knife crime, all that. When they did close their youth centres down, they didn't even alert the young people. So it was like one day the youth centre was there, and then the next day it was gone. But it's another thing when youth clubs and get right, shut down, it cuts kids' roots off and links. They don't really have anywhere to go. Now when when I'm with all my friends and we all got hoodies and that type of youth, nobody wants to be around us. And the youth club was just a place that we could all go and have fun. Like at least we got somewhere to go. Now look. Like we like we walk down the streets and we're getting pulled over by police. Like there's nothing here for us. Like the youth clubs activities, there's so much stuff to do. We can make music, we could do videos. You get me? They just wanna find something to do now, especially now schools out summer time. They're not necessarily turning to the streets like to do bad things, but they'll just be jamming like outside McDonald's or outside the train stations. They'll just be jamming and then another group of boys will come, they'll spot you, they'll start screwing each other, start giving them the looks and then next thing you knew a fight will kick out. I would say I've had a couple friends that's been stabbed, one that's been shot, but not severely injured, thank God. I know of quite a few gangs in the areas around Tottenham and Wood Green and Enfield and Edmonton. They're, so they're, they're building up rapidly. But everyone knows what happens on the streets. Like people are getting stabbed these days over over, over postcodes that we don't even rule. The governments, like dumb stuff like that. People are just getting stabbed up. People are getting robbed. People are getting the house burgled and bare stuff are going on right now. Bare stuff is crazy. But when they done that youth club stuff, it was just like a a place that where everyone could go like, and just get each other, just get people off the streets, like have them doing something better than being on the roads, robbing and that. Like, you get me? Knife crime, you get a lot of gun crime and certain things like that over, over nothing major. Postcode wars, so if another person comes to their postcode or they see another people in these areas that they believe are there, they want to um, ask them why they're here and they might try to fight them. If it's not a knife, it's also a metal bar. They use metal bats as well, and then that's that actually does really bad damage. If you're in a gang, you sort of have that security around you that like you've got your friends to protect you and back you up. But then, like, if more people are joining gangs, and it becomes more dangerous for people that aren't in gangs. Living in a certain place where this is um, a big thing, you might just not necessarily want to join it, but maybe just feel peer pressure. Friends are in it. Maybe just think, oh, I might as well, everyone else seems to be in it. I feel like an outsider, I suppose. And when you're in it, it's kind of hard to like, remove yourself from it. Like, everybody used to go to youth clubs. It's not even like they made youth club and no one used to go. People used to go to youth club every day. Young people around here, they're influenced by what they see, especially by media, TV, rap music, or any type of music that's promoting gun crime. Some gang members do go to the youth club and they do and they are off the streets. It's not a whole day thing, so obviously there'll be time when it shuts and then they'll be, they'll be free to roam the streets, I suppose. There'll always be that. I think it's going to be swarming. I think people are going to be trying to find things to do. People are going to want jobs and that's going to be frustrating. You know, you've got a lot of people out here. I'm looking for a job myself. I ain't got one myself. A lot of people, they don't have a lot of money. Some of them come from poorer backgrounds and so they look to, to cause trouble, have fun, maybe take things off other people because they haven't got them themselves. That's why there's more crime on the road because there's nothing to do. They're always going to be troublemakers, but it's just keeping as, that number as low as it can be. They ain't got a destination where they can say, yeah, this is mine. And this is where I can come. It is a sad story that the cuts are affecting young people a lot, but like the government doesn't realise what they're doing to us. What's the point of stopping youth clubs? Why did they do that? I don't know. Why did they do that anyway? It wasn't going to be a riot. It'd be riots. It'd be riots. 